Hey guys and welcome to today's video. Today we'll be discussing up how we can create mechanisms like these using SOLIDWORKS and then I'll be discussing about the crash of mechanisms and the particular cases involving it. So first of all let's open up a new part. Now select any plane which you want and click on sketch. Just make a 4 bar mechanism like this and then we'll just give it particular dimensions there we go and now what I'm gonna do is just click on this block option now important thing is uh, each and every line has to be made a separate block because if you go and select two of these lines then the motion of these would be such that it acts as a rigid body and these lines would move together so since these are basically separate links so you need to make separate four blocks for each of these so click on OK make this and the last one so now after creating the blocks we will just go and delete these dimensions up and then uh, we will go to the add relation option and click on this line and make it fixed that's it click on exit sketch and now start to rotate it from one side so there we go what we observe is the fact that this link and this link both basically act as a double crank and a crank is basically any link which kind of rotates about its pivot by 360 degrees so important thing is basically the fact that uh, if the sum of the shortest link and the longest link is less than the sum of the other two links then one of the link with respect to the other link will act as a crank so that is known as the crash of criteria so here the smallest link is basically this one and I had kind of adjust adjusted these values in such a way so that the sum of this and this value is always less than the sum of these two links and therefore what we kind of got was the double crank motion so after doing this uh, let's discuss another case now this is basically the crank rocker motion so this link is the shortest one and uh, again now if I will basically rotate this what we will observe that this kind of rotates about its pivot uh, by 360 degrees whereas this link kind of is uh, a rocker and therefore basically rotates between certain angles only as you can see from this animation so after this the last case in this now this is the double rocker mechanism so here what I've done is the smallest link is kind of situated here and this link is the frame and these two are the rockers so if you kind of start rotating it from one side so as you can basically see that this link uh, with respect to the other links kind of rotates about itself by 360 degrees whereas these two links are only rotating about by certain angles and not the entire revolution so that's it thanks for watching and feel free to leave comments below and subscribe to this channel if you like i'll be bringing up a lot more great videos ahead thanks